Well, good morning. My name is Anna, and this is Starlings. I'm a business major, and she's definitely a communication major. And today, we're here to present you our project for the Washington State Department of Transportation. So we'll first walk you through how we approach the project, the procedure of how we conducted our research. We'll then share with you our analysis, and finally present you with our recommendation. So we draw our attention to the SR520 bridge tolling project, and we acknowledge that that is the most recent project activity by the department. And we also acknowledge that it has great impact on the department as well as the general public. And then we conducted a series of secondary research specifically on the public um, reaction side to the project. And we noticed that even though they generally accept the project and the change and understand the goal and objective by the department, they do have varied opinions and feelings towards how the project is actually executed. And to further address that, we acknowledge that the student body is a large segment in terms of commuters and travelers. And for the department to specifically target those students, we now would like to look at the example of the students at the University of Washington and use that as an example of how the department can actually target the student body and focus on them. So I'll now pass along to Starling to tell you more about how we conducted our research. Okay. So we used the two research methods that we learned from class. The first one is focus group. Um, we conducted a focus group research on four student representatives from, from UW, and uh, we had a two-hour discussion with them. We figured out um, two, four general areas that we will look into in our survey to uh, further develop the, to further um, understand uh, student opinion on the, on the uh, project tolling. Um, so, on the survey that we, uh, we conducted, um, we have 272 university student participants, and uh, we addressed the four areas that are from the um, focus group, which are first, um, information content, um, like what information um, to distribute to students, to students, and second is information distribution, how you gonna distribute those information to students, and third is the uh, general general student impression, um, like how students gonna in interpret those information, and the last one is um, uh, the the project itself, like uh, what changes what student wanna see from um, the tolling system, and. Um, from the survey, let's go to the next slide. We'll talk about our results from the survey. Um, the first one we got, uh, we fir the first one we have is the student impression. Um, we figured that um, most of the students are supportive and positive towards the tolling system, but there is still a small percentage of students who um, largely decreased their usage of the tolling and are also very dissatisfied with the tolling system. And, um, we we'll look into that and we find out the information distribution part. Um, most of the students, about 90% of students want to see the online information distribution, such as the top two um, ranking from our survey results are first the, the UW widget. So they want to see the information from the UW widget and also the social media. Um, and, uh, Can you be more specific on what that widget would look like? Yeah, we'll talk about in our recommendation part in the, in later. And uh, the next one is the uh, information content. So what information they want to look at. Um, the first one is the future plan of the project, such as um, what is uh, an updated timeline. And the next one is um, a, current, uh, a current and future distribution of funding. So like um, what the fund will distribute it and um, how students are going to benefit or impact from there. And um, so in addition, thanks. In addition, um, to brought you a bigger picture of the, our research result, <clears throat> we figured out that um, there is a small group of students um, who we, we trace back to each of the results of students and then figured that there is a small group of students from six to 10 people that they have um, expressed their dissatisfaction on the busing system. Um, after the tolling, because you know, busing is one of the um, best alternative of driving. So after the tolling, they start to busing, and uh, the busing they're not. So the busing system wasn't very satisfied to them because they think it's not um, 
didn't cover enough routes and uh, was um, not time efficient for them. So we look into that. Uh, we al also ask questions, similar questions in survey, and we run the correlation test and figure out there's no correlation between the dis dissatisfaction on busing and the uh, dissatisfaction on tolling system. However, we still recommend you to um, address this issue as a, future, as a future area to look into, and we'll talk about um, how we're gonna do that later. And next one, we'll have Anna talk about the recommendation part. Thanks. So I would like to first draw attention to the distribution channels. And as you can see here, the student preferences are really spread out. However, as we see the status widget on UW homepage, MIUW, which is right over here, as well as for social media, which is the light blue, green, right over here, take out a large segment of the student distribution preferences. So the department should definitely strongly utilize that. And to further address that, we would like to draw attention to the website widget, which you definitely want to see more. So in terms of content-wise, we would like to recommend the department to have the recent updates of the project, and as well as any other news that you would like to distribute to the students constantly on those um, website widgets. And then you will also need to link those news links directly to your homepage. At the same time, when the students come to your homepage through those links, you will want to recommend them um, to encourage them to make comments and feedbacks regarding the news links and the information that you posted. And in terms of how you will actually make that happen is to collaborate with the technology teams and the administrations who actually control the websites and make changes. So it's the technical side of um, the web page. And at the same time, to present those widgets at the side of the web page, but still very obvious for students to notice. And on the top of that, since the students really want to get the message out through the online distribution, we also recommend the usage of social media. That's where the students really get the information from, and they comment about it, have a lot of interaction. So in order to make that happen, the first, you would need to have very constantly updated um, status with like news, success, progress in terms of the projects, any other things of how the project is heading, and any adjustments that you're going to make accordingly. In terms of interaction, similarly to that of the widget, you will want to invite the students' feedback of those updates and changes and really present a positive, active, and proactive image and respond on those comments on time and to present those interactions with the students. And in terms of how you've actually made that happen is to have very updated and frequent status on your social media like Facebook and Twitter and at the same time link those to the student groups on their channels like the ASGW Facebook page, their Twitter or University of Washington Facebook page to really encourage those interactions. And still at the same time to link those social media directly back to your homepage to draw further traffic for them to go for the further information if they want them. And after we talk about how the, um, this, the information will be presented and what content will be included, we would like to talk to you a little bit more about the system itself. So like Starling mentioned before, the busing system is the next best alternative for the students who abandon driving because of the toll and is currently taking buses to commute. And we would like to recommend the department to have expanded routes and the type of schedules that really benefit the students who are no longer driving. And in terms of payments, as the students really just interact online, they would like to use that channel, we would like to recommend that the department to have the payment option like good to go available online for the students to pay and at the same time allow them to track their payments and alternatively, to have the email or text reminders to tell them, hey, your payment is due right now and you might want to click this link and go to the website and pay. So um, this is our recommendation today. And as a conclusion, we would like you to walk away remembering that the students really would like to see the interactions online and really have a positive image about the tolling project right now, but just want to get a more detailed information of where it's heading and any other object, um, updates that you might have. And in terms of online, we would like to recommend you to utilize the UW widget on my UW and the UW homepage. And on the top of that, to have the social media interactions with the student 
to present an active and proactive positive image of the departments. So we would like to thank you for your time today and open up for any questions.